everybody, I'm back with another episode of Galveston Island Historic Pleasure Pier in Planet Coaster. Today I am beginning work on the Iron Shark roller coaster, which is pretty exciting. It's like one of the more iconic uh, rides on the on the pier. Um, and I end up, as you can see, I'm starting with some booths that are, are located there. Um, I didn't know how else to make them, so yeah, I just built the shop and then kind of plopped bits around it. It looks kind of tacky, but it kind of looks like that in real life too, so... Eh, it's it's all right. Um, yeah, so I, pl I put in the uh, the Iron Shark roller coaster, which I did not make. It's from the it's from the Steam Workshop. Um, it's a pretty good model. Anyway, so yeah, I put that in. Um, I begin detailing on it, and I spend a lot of time both on and off camera um, trying to align it properly, adjust the track so that it can fit onto the pier, and also working with the entrance and exit cues. Um, I had a lot of trouble with it for a while, to the point where I was like, nah, fuck it, I'm just giving up, I don't want to do this anymore. But then I, I figured out a way to do it, and I don't know, I I didn't bother, when I first began, I didn't bother looking like where the actual entrance and exit were, I kind of just was like, oh, I think it's there, I'll just kind of do it like that. But anyway, and it didn't work, and then it ended up being once once I looked up where they actually are and tried that, it actually worked, which is surprising, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, it was a stupid mistake on my, heart, on my behalf, and ended up costing me like an hour of was more than that actually but yeah a lot of time um so yeah you'll see you might see me just putting them in the wrong place but i do end up getting it right i'm pretty sure it's right anyway i don't know about the exit because i couldn't do the exit in a in a lifelike way because you can't put paths over the tracks properly <sighs> so uh yeah i end up just plopping an exit and it looks pretty good i'm happy with how it turns out um so i do some detailing um yeah, as I said, with these little booths, they're pretty basic. But yeah, this is me putting in the, the Iron Shark. Um, it's a cool little coaster. I watched the POV for it. Um, it's quite nice. I, I love I love how they fit these giant roller coasters on this tiny little pier as well. It's really funny. Anyway, so yeah, I build the, uh, the station building. Um, I do some basic detailing on the side, but then I haven't done any of the other detailing along the actual course of the track. Um, not that there is much, but... Yeah, um, so uh, between the Iron Shark coaster and the middle pathway, there's actually a whole bunch of midway games. Um, and I, I build, I think it was two of them, um, I build them from scratch. One of, the, one of them was a basketball throwing game. Um, I get that from the uh, from the workshop because it's, it's really detailed and, and I've used it before in parks and it looks really cool and I couldn't be fucked making my own. <laughs> so I put that in from someone else that's not mine. Um, and then I build two of my own. Um, and they look, they look pretty cool. Uh, pretty happy with how they turned out. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't finish much this episode. It was already, I had two hours of footage, which is normally, you know, like double what I normally have for an episode. I had to cut out a lot of it and then condense it so the episode is longer. It's also the speed has been sped up um, faster than normal because I had a lot of footage this time. So yeah, and I still don't get much done. So it's just kind of the, the precursor episode of for the um for the ending of the the coaster and the midway games itself, um so yeah you won't see a lot get done this episode uh that completed fully but you see the beginning and middle of most of it. But that's about it for me. Um, the rest is kind of self-explanatory. I, I um yeah just I play around with the station a bit, the station building, um the queues and everything. So don't be alarmed when it's going back and forth and back and forth. Just trying to make it fit and make it look right. Um, and yeah, the park's almost done, which is exciting. It's I've got got the big drop tower thing here. I haven't actually thought what it's called yet. I've got that. Um, I've got the Ferris wheel, um, and then just like seating areas. And there's a building at the end of the pier. I'm looking at it now. I don't actually know what it is. Looks like a restaurant or something, maybe. Uh, have to find out when we go down there on Street View. But yeah, it's almost done. It's pretty exciting. Um, I reckon I'll be done within two... Well, then I want to spend a whole episode just like doing detailing all around the park, so lighting, sound, uh, for everywhere. Even though I've, d I've been pretty good with it, I've been putting lighting on most things. But yeah, just double, double check all that, just extra detailing, um, blank areas, like put, filling out blank areas, things like that. Um, but yeah, it's almost done, so I reckon I'll be finished in uh, one, two, maybe four episodes, mm, three or four maybe. Um, yeah, it's exciting. It's my first ever project that I'm going to finish probably. Uh, and I've been spending a lot more time on my Warner Brothers uh, series to like building that because that's going well. Um, so that's why there haven't been as many episodes of this, but 
this doesn't get like half as many, it, it, more than that, it's like a quarter of the views that Warner Brothers does, uh, that Movie World does, so I haven't been all that inclined to do it, and I'm kind of over it, because I just want it to be done, this park. <laughs> um, it looks super cool though. Oh, and I'm, I'm, that's another thing I forgot to mention, I'm doing custom supports for this coaster, because they looked all wrong when I, um, when I was doing it with the automatic ones. And I should have done it with the log flume too, the, the pirate's plunge, but I didn't ever think to do it. I can't be fucked going back into it. I might do it when I re-detail everything. Um, but yeah, you can see, you'll see some custom supports. Again, I change them around a lot as I move the thing and make it all work. Um, and yeah, not done. I only do a few because I run out of time. Uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the episode. Um, next episode I'm working on Movie World. Um, and I'm doing some cool stuff in that. Again, like I do a kind of a quite a detailed building with uh, pieces that I'm not always used to using, so I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone, but it's good. Um, so enjoy the rest of the video. I will see you next time.